Global tensions continue to heat up as the U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is following in the footsteps of former Speaker Pelosi with a planned visit to Taiwan as early as March. I don't think this is going to go over very well with China. You remember the last time Pelosi went over there, right? Now, in a surprise announcement, President Biden just told the American public what the real problem is that's happening all around us. It's not inflation. It's not credit card debt. It's not even the massive layoffs. It's not Social Security and its solvency issues. And it's certainly not a nuclear war. You guys have no no idea, but this is by far one of the craziest things that I've heard from President Biden. Also, it's come out that the National Archives was blocked from revealing the Biden classified documents found in his office. According to a source, the order could only have come from two places. Any guesses as to who ordered the block? And Senator Joe Manchin is teaming up with the GOP to challenge the president's apparent politicizing of Americans 401ks. Now, before I continue, guys, please take a second, smash the like button for the video. Definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're in need of your daily dose of the truth when it comes to what's happening in Washington, D.C., the state of our economy, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, the stock market, the housing market, and everything that affects our lives, our families, and our bank accounts, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you own a home, guys, make sure your home is protected. Get your free home warranty quote. There's a link in the description down below of this video. So after President Biden finally said no to Ukrainian President Zelensky, a top official from their country has now said that they are receiving positive signals from Poland regarding the sending of F-16 fighter jets. Polish Prime Minister Matusz Morawiecki, I'm sure I murdered that name, but he said that he would need to consult with NATO countries first before sending any jets manufactured by the United States. Ukraine also has its eyes set on the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F-15, with Zelensky saying that the nations shouldn't drag this out with any further debates on security assistance and that they would need allies to speed up the supply of weapons. He said that the key to war is just to give them what they're asking for. Rather than think logically about the escalation of providing said arms. With Germany and the United States sending tanks to the war, a Russian company is now offering cash rewards for soldiers who can take down said tanks. How much? The company Forez is saying that they would pay $72,000 for the destruction or capture of an Abrams or a Leopard tank and $215,000 if they shoot down a Western made fighter jet, if one ever gets sent to the Ukraine. Putin is also said to be preparing more than 200,000 new troops with NATO saying that Russia is preparing for more war rather than peace. Now, as much as I would love to tell you guys that, you know, we're preparing for better times, I have to painfully inform you that things may get even worse. U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy may possibly visit Taiwan and China's not happy about it. Without naming McCarthy, a spokeswoman for China stated this, quote, we urge certain individuals in the United States to earnestly abide by the one China principle, end quote. McCarthy, who supported the previous visit of the then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan, may visit Taiwan as early as spring. Now, speaking of early, the National Archives actually wanted to inform the public of the initial discovery of classified documents taken by President Biden, but it seems as if they were blocked by either the Department of Justice or the White House staff itself. Hmm. I'm sure that this has nothing to do with the midterm elections last November 8th, given that a press release would have been released November 2nd. Nah, there's clearly no connection between the two, right? Representative James Comer has added that the investigations into these classified documents has some added urgency since Hunter Biden, the first son, had access to the Wilmington house that had classified documents in it. Now, according to Comer, quote, look, more information comes out every day where Joe Biden's son, especially as well as his brothers, have had shady business dealings with our adversaries around the world. And part of what they would do when they would make a pitch to these shady characters in these foreign countries is prove to them that they actually had direct access to their brother and that they had direct access to people at the highest levels of our federal government. So when we learn that Joe Biden had classified documents from all over the place, Place, and that Hunter Biden especially lived in his house where he had those classified documents stored, we became extra concerned. And that's why this investigation is of the utmost importance for the United States Congress, as well as for the American people, end quote. Now, if you ask President Biden, though, it's nothing to worry about. He said that he's cooperating and that's the most important thing. He also says that there are other things to worry about. And while a nuclear war might be the biggest concern for many across the globe, the president cites that this just isn't true. The biggest threat to humanity 
humanity is climate change. In his own words, he said this, quote, if we don't stay under 1.5 degrees Celsius, we're going to have a real problem. It's the single most existential threat to humanity we've ever faced, including nuclear weapons. And so we have a real big problem, end quote. Let me ask you guys, do you believe that climate change is a bigger problem than the threat of a nuclear attack that can come at any time? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Now, on the topic of attacks, former President Donald Trump does not seem to be done with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. In a post on Truth Social, Trump said this, quote, the real Ron is a rhino globalist who closed quickly down Florida and even its beaches, loved the vaccines and wasted big money on testing. How quickly people forget, end quote. This is again in connection to Trump alleging that DeSantis is trying to rewrite history about their initial response to vaccines and many government mandates. DeSantis has said that he's been attacked from all angles for many years. Having a former president doing it doesn't seem to phase him just as much. With both men being in the same party, it's pretty safe to say that the 2024 elections is going to be a slobber knocker. Drop a like on the video if you laughed at that word. Anyway, and if we looked at the Democrats, we would see a familiar name questioning a member from their own party. This would be Senator Joe Manchin going against the Biden administration regarding the ESG or the government social and governance rule. They say that it politicizes the retirement savings for 152 million Americans. So what does this ESG rule do anyway? It allows retirement plan managers to factor environmental and social issues into investment decisions. As per Manchin, quote, at a time when our country is already facing economic uncertainty, record inflation, and increasing energy costs, it is irresponsible of the Biden administration to jeopardize retirement savings of more than 150 million Americans for purely political purposes. I'm proud to join this bipartisan resolution to prevent the proposed ESG rule from endangering retirement incomes and protect the hard-earned savings of American families. I encourage my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support this important resolution to ensure Congress is promoting economic security for West Virginians and Americans alike, not further exacerbating the serious economic challenges that they're already facing, end quote. What do you guys make of all this? Is the Biden administration not acting with our best interests at heart? And with everything that we're going through at the moment, with the cost of electric bills, water, food, credit cards, car payments, and housing, do we really need something else to worry about? Now, I understand that most of us are frightened of what the future holds, not just with the global conflict, but with our economy and our wallets. Our cash flow doesn't quite feel the same and many good paying opportunities are hard to come by nowadays. But what if you had more than one cash flow? What if I told you that it was possible to create multiple streams of income through side hustles or small businesses or online businesses? What if it could make you money while you drink your coffee by merely putting in wise investments in the stock market or in real estate? What if you could have all of that? If you're interested to learn more, don't wait another second. Feel free to join us over in the Patreon community. Financial freedom isn't for everyone. It's for those who seek it and go after it. Now, before I go, please don't forget to drop a thumbs up and subscribe for your daily dose of the truth. There's no sense in being silent when we have the facts, guys. Please be kind to one another. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.